the next thing I wanted to show you was actually we've got a button up here that does a set of taxiway markings with the edge lines. Um, sort of a bit like the runway, isn't it? So taxiway set of markings. So if I go here, so maybe I'm going across this open space and I want to draw some edge lines to the taxiway. So I'll pick one point, two points, three points. You can see I'm just drawing along the centre of the taxiway. I'll press return. And there you are. You've got a full set of taxiway markings. Um, and you can see just like we did with other things, you can move those around to a slightly different location, make it less curved if you didn't want it so curved. You can tweak the, uh, the vertices just like you would with a normal polyline. You just draw along the centre. There's all your bits and pieces. Absolutely fantastic. You might be looking at those transverse bars and say, actually, in that location, we would have been just been happy with a double edge line and not the transverse bars. Well, I did mention, if you double click on these things, you will have a bunch of options. Um, one of the options is to take the black away from the centre. Well, I know I want to keep that on because we're actually going across concrete here. But there's an option for the transverse bars. I'll take those away. No transverse bars. I'll put that tick back on. The transverse bars have come back. Um, if I just bring that into the in here a bit more so you can probably see that clear of the thing. I'll double click it here again. When you've got a tick on transverse bars, it will also show a repeater distance. It's currently set to 15, but maybe you want them wider spaced. I can, oh, two. Well, they're very closely spaced when I type two. Clive number five is now 25. I could pick the up arrow, and as you can see, as I'm picking the up arrow, they're going further away. If I bring the down arrow, you can see they're coming closer together. So you can type the numbers in. You can click the up and down arrows just as you'd expect. But it's adjusting the marking just from that number. And I, I, certain things, the width of this and the, the repeated distance and that, it is the sort of thing you'd probably want to type a number in. Um, and, and you can do that. And even if you if you say, actually, um, what width is the taxiway? Well, he drew it by default at 25, but if you only added 20 metre taxiway, you could type that in. But if you decide actually we have 30 metre taxiways, you can type that in as well. It's all around in there as, as different numbers that you can create. So it's, it's great. Just double click them and you'll see one or two things that you can add, edit. 